Hello, universal and Islamic greetings, peace be upon you, assalamu alaikum. I'm going to prove to you right now that Jesus is not God, because I think this debate has gone on long enough. The topic I'm going to talk about now is, can God be tempted, and is Jesus God? Okay, let's look at James chapter 1, verse 13. If you have your Bible, open up. Here we go. It says, and I quote, verse 13, For God is not subject to temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. So here we go, clear and cut, precise and definitive. God is not tempted into evil. We're not talking about tempting God's patience or testing God's patience. We're talking about God. Can he be tempted into doing evil, sin, you know, wrongful deeds? And the answer here is clearly no. James says that in his letter. Now, was Jesus tempted? Whether he sinned or not, that's not the issue here. That's irrelevant to my discussion. I'm talking about temptation, not the actual sin itself. Was Jesus tempted? We just saw here in James that God cannot even be tempted, let alone sin. But Jesus was tempted according to Matthew chapter 4, verses 1. It says, quote, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. So that means that Jesus is not God. Why? Clearly, because he was tempted by the devil. That means he was tempted to do evil things. That clearly shows to you and me that Jesus can never be God. Because God cannot be tempted, Jesus was tempted, therefore he cannot be God. It's plain and simple. And there should be no more debating about it, as far as I'm concerned. But let's look at some more verses in the Bible to add to what I've just said. Let's, if you have your Bible, turn to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 and it says regarding Jesus for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but one who has similarly been tested in every way yet without sin so here it's saying Jesus did not sin which Muslims don't really have a problem with because we believe all the prophets were sinless with regards to major sins they were not sinless with regards to minor sins. And major sins are something like blasphemy and things like that. Minor sins can be simply little mistakes. So, in other words, Jesus, according to Hebrews, says, it says he was tempted in every way. Can you imagine that? Christians believing Jesus is God and then knowing that the Bible says Jesus was tempted in every way that you and I were? Can you imagine Jesus thinking about raping a woman or killing this old woman walking across the street, you know, cutting up these little children, or all the most despicable thoughts and ideas and temptations you can possibly think of in your mind. Jesus was tempted in every way that we were, according to Hebrews? Is that your God? Is that what you think God is really like, dear Christian? Please, open your eyes and open your minds and think. Not only that, go back to chapter 4 of Matthew again, and it says that in verse 8, Matthew chapter 4, verse 8, then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdom, kingdoms of the world and their magnificence. Can you believe that? Christians believing Jesus is God, yet the devil takes him up and picks him up and puts him on top of this mountain? See, Christians believe Jesus is God and man at the same time. They believe his flesh is, is a human body, yet they believe his spirit was the spirit of God himself. So... Here we have the devil taking God around and putting him up on mountains and putting him up on the temple and all these things, taking him around and picking him up like a sack of potatoes. What kind of God are you worshipping, dear Christian? Please open your eyes and open your minds to the spiritual truth of what I'm trying to say to you here. Clearly, Jesus is not God. He was tempted into evil. Whether he sinned or not, that's another issue. I've talked about that in the other video that I've posted uh, where I compare Jesus of the Quran and Jesus of the Bible, you'll clearly see there that Jesus did sin according to the Bible, not according to the Quran. The Islamic Jesus is, mo is much more of a perfect and holy uh, person, but the biblical Jesus is one that has a lot of problems, and that's been dealt with in the other video. Let me leave you with a verse from the Holy Quran to tell you who God is and who God isn't. The Quran says in chapter 112, verse 1, Say, He is Allah, meaning God, the one and only, Allah, the Eternal, Absolute, He begetteth not, nor is He begotten, and there is none like unto Him. Kulhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakullahu Kufuwan Ahad. That's the Arabic translation, or the Arabic original, I should say, the English translation with the Arabic original. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum.